What I'll do today is experiment with a loop antenna using 17 metres of wire perimeter. I've actually got 20 metres of wire here, but I'm not going to cut it. I'll use the last little bit as an open wire feed line. The late Les Moxon, G6XN, found that you could have a smaller loop without too much of a drop off in performance. For instance, instead of being 20 or 22 metres in perimeter, you could have a loop that's only 17 metres in perimeter, and it would still operate efficiently on 14 megahertz, provided you fed it with open wire feed line. The benefit of the smaller length is that it's less than two wave lengths around on 28 megahertz. Therefore, you can use it efficiently without having to break it at the top. This time, I'm going to try the loop horizontally polarised with the flat top up. I've got a second pole, so again, I'll do some directional experiments. Oh, oh. As expected, lowest SWR is on 18 megahertz. This is a test done on the VK8 VF beacon on 28 megahertz. is in that direction. And as I come over here, the signal's much stronger. a test on 18 megahertz. First of all with the antenna favoring east-west. One disadvantage of feeding at the bottom of this antenna is when I move this pole to change the antenna's direction, then I also need to move the radio. Another thing is it's horizontally polarised, which is probably not the best choice if the antenna is fairly low and you've got the advantages of salt water. One thing I can do to overcome these problems is to have the feed point at the bottom of that pole, which remains fixed. Then I can move the second pole around without having to move the radio. This is what the change loop is going to look like. The feed point at the bottom right, the wire running along a vertical pole, which stays still, and the far left can either be tied off to some fishing line, 
with a tent peg in the sand or tied off to a shorter pole. That's the pole that you turn around to change direction, if it's directional at all. We'll find out very shortly. This is with the loop in the vertical configuration. Broadside east-west. One of the problems with steering the antenna is hammering the stake every time you find a direction you like. However, the tops of screw poles are fairly flexible and you may be able to arrange it so that you don't need to hammer it in to get a fixed direction. So, um, I noticed on the reports on the clutches that 